Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. You're ready. Hi guys, my name is Dara Addison. I'm the founder and the CEO at Torpedo Pot. And you're looking at our self-growing planters. This nasturtium and this mandevilla has been growing now for months on its own. I disconnected it so you guys can see what's going on. The nasturtium goes out as much as five feet. And we have over here, which is our chamomile tea. And um, this is some of the um, plants that were growing from last year. So you have the kale growing with the chamomile. And so you have an unending supply of tea readily available. These are some of our food that we're growing now. This is our cayenne, these are jalapeno, California green wonders. And uh, we have little cherry tomatoes and I brought this up as a decorative squash. One of the small ones that we brought up so you can take a look at. So today what I like to do is take a little time and share with you about our energy saving ring that we have at Torpedo Pot. This ring will save you over 95 to 98% on your water usage. Remember now, at Torpedo Pot, the purpose of the ring, and I'm going to bring this planter up so you take a look at it, is to water your plants and to bring nutrition. Now, even though water is critical to plant growth, water does not grow your plants, okay? Inside this soil, there's enough bioactivity that causes your plants to grow and take off. What we want to do is to encourage that bioactivity in the soil. So, what we do is that we use a ring that's planted in the middle of the planter. The rings that we showed you earlier were on the outskirts, the inside perimeter of the planter, and it was good and it does a great job. But we like, once we ship with those planters, we want everyone to switch over to these energy saving, water saving rings right here. Well, you'll save a ton of water. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes to show you how to replace your ring and put on a new ring. So all you do is that for the torpedo pot, you have the clip here, which comes, you just fold the clip back like this and for this ring, as you can see, there is this little ledge. You push this ledge in right here, this black ledge, and you pull the ring out. Once you push it in, on all sides, you pull the ring out. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to replace the perimeter rings with this new ring. Once this ring sits in the middle of your soil and it releases itself, you don't have to worry about any water being wasted because you're only doing it to keeping it moist okay so when it releases itself it might release itself for about 30 seconds one minute depending upon how many plants you have growing in here so let's put a plant in and we'll see how the ring is actually used we're going to take uh, lettuce I have lettuce that we have growing here inside this pot and I'm going to put it in the planter now I have my ring here so I'm going to force my ring down and I'm going to pull off all the dead pieces of the lettuce And now I'm going to cover it with soil. With the ring face down, okay? Now I could have very well bury this ring, but I'm not going to do that because the, the roots of this lettuce are going to be pretty shallow. I don't need to go very deep. And then I'm just going to take my soil and I'm going to fill it up around the ring itself. That's all you do. This is the extent of what you need to do for the torpedo pot. Now, with that being said, all I need to do now is plug my pot in from the back and it will get working. I need to do nothing else. Now, I'd rather have a lot more soil in here than this planter. So let's put more soil in there to show you how I really want you to fill this up. So let's bring it to the top. Remember now, your soil is the engine for this planter. Your soil is what kicks this plant on, planter on and gets it working. Now, with your watering kit, you're going to get a timer, flexible hose, and a cutter. And for those who order multiple kits, you're going to get T-connectors. So let's start connecting this. I'm going to take my, my hose, and I'm going to untie it, or I'll just cut a piece off of it right now. Either if it's only one planter, I can go directly from my timer, which is here, to the back of my planter, which is here. Okay? That means this timer 
is hooked up to a spigot. Water comes through the timer directly into the planter. And you set the time that you like to have your timer cut in and off. Now if we have another planter, which let's put another planter next to it and see what happens. Push it in. I want to make sure you take a good picture of this because all you have to do is push this ring in. Once you push it in, you can pull it out. So I'm going to push it in with my fingers and I'm going to pull it out. Okay? Now let's add more planters to this. That's one. So let's add a second planter. We have a second planter here. Now we're going to do it for a plant that has a deeper root system and something that everyone loves growing. Aloe vera. It's a beautiful plant. And so I'm going to trim it up and make it look good. But for the meantime, I'm just going to take my plant. Look at that root system. Isn't that beautiful? That is really, really beautiful. Overcrowded but beautiful. Now I have the ring around this plant, okay? And what I do is just simply take my dirt and fill it up. That's all you have to do. Nothing more. Does it require you digging, putting any fertilizers down, or doing anything else? Torpedo Pond has a biotic environment that grows your plants for you. You don't have to do all the work to have your plants grow. Simply drop your ring in there and fill it up with, with, with soil. Don't worry about it. There's nothing is required. And we just fill it up. And now we have planter number two. It looks like it's ready to go. Looks really good. I like the way this looks. Firm it up a little bit. Now, once this is complete and we set this plant up, it's going to start growing. Now, the question is now, let's move this aside. Now we're going to ask ourselves, how do we hook these planters up? So, we have one planter here. We have another planter here. All you would do is that use your T-connector in your first planter. Take your hose, which comes from your water supply, hook it up to the first planter. Just trick in the back. And all you have to do now is cut a second piece. What you're going to do right now, and this will go into your second planter. So from the back of your second planter, you plug it in and you pull it directly. Hi guys, this is Darrell Addison at TorpedoPot.com. As you can see, we have the lettuce and then we have this beautiful, beautiful aloe vera that's going to be growing in our torpedo pots. Putting the plants in are very simple. Now, when it comes to winter time, um, what I want you to do I don't necessarily want you to bring your plants in. The torpedo pot is designed to grow 365 days a year inside or outside. For these plants right here, I probably will bring them, bring them in after the, uh, the fall ends and I'm starting to get my first and second frost because I know that they'll be affected by it. And I'll bring it in and then I'll hook up the same um, tubing as, you have, as we have did earlier inside of these torpedo pots. So the torpedo pot is designed to sit outside. So when the frost comes, what we normally do, for those who are growing a lot of plants outside, we normally run our lines underneath the ground to protect the lines from frost. Um, we have systems down that plug into the house where you can simply plug into your planter into your house and dismount it. Uh, so when it comes time to winter time, you can bring it in. Don't worry about the freezing of your torpedo pot. Um, once you see that there's a frost coming, cut off your water. So go to your spigot, cut off the water, disable your timer. I don't want you to leave the timer on. The timer is probably the most fragile part of the system. What I'd like you to do is take off your nipple here. And instead of taking your timer and screwing it to the spigot, what I'd like you to do is screw the nipple to the spigot, okay? That will enable you to do manual watering without the timer. So when the winter time comes, sometimes when a frost hits, it bounces back and forth. So you don't get frost continually. So if you put the nipple on, and you run it directly to your planter. What you do is that you cut on the water when you need it. So if it's frost, you cut that water off. Let that water work its way through the system. But when it's, you feel the temperature has dropped down, you still want to water your plants that are outside, by all means, cut it on. 
our clients, what they do is that they build cold frames for their lettuce and everything outside. So the torpedo pots can sit in that cold frame. Now, why torpedo pot? Why is it so important? The torpedo pot creates a biotic environment inside the lining of that soil right there, okay? So it doesn't waste water. It doesn't underwater or overwater. What it does, it gives the microbes in the soil an opportunity to develop and to grow. Because what are they the ones? They're the ones that are converting this over into this. And this is where it's the most effective. So I wanted to give you a rundown of how and what to look for your torpedo pot in terms of the winter time and, and what it can do in terms of its potential. We love our nasturtium and we love our chamomile. But I want you guys to feel comfortable about your growing. When you first receive the torpedo pot, you're going to be a little hesitant. You're gonna say, am I gonna go wrong? Or am, I, am I gonna go right? Once you establish that feeding inside of here for the biotic environment, it's not about you. At that point, it is the plant's job to create its own environment. And I want you to remove yourself from the picture. Give it time. Because it'll heal itself and it'll, the soil has the ability to heal itself. Everything around you comes from the soil. Everything you can touch and feel comes from the soil. And it will all go back to the soil, okay? The torpedo pond is a wonder because when it creates that biotic environment, it protects your plants against outside forces. The minute you put your plants into the ground, your plants are looking for an opportunity to create an environment where they can live in. When it's being attacked by other forces, other bacteria and fungus that are there to, that like uh, you may have vegetation that you put inside of your planters or food that you put inside of your planters and your soil is working overtime to try not only to, to break those, that, that material down but also to supply food for your plant. And what you do is that you just take all the life out of your soil when, you, when it has to do so many jobs. When you're using drip irrigation and using water on top, it builds bacteria. That bacteria is not the bacteria that the plants want and love. The bacteria that you see building up are the bacteria that causes a lot of mold, that causes a lot of slime mold and everything else which you don't want. So you want to give your chance, your plants a fighting chance. So put it in a plant, we recommend mushroom soil. We like mushroom soil because it has an array of fungus for your plants to choose from. Remember now, your plant is choosing the environment that it, which it wants to live in. And you giving it an opportunity to choose from decay, which is really good. What I don't want you to do is don't throw any live, like banana pills, you don't need any tea, you don't need any eggshells, none of that stuff is needed. Because now the whole concept of organic, we're throwing out the window. We're dealing with biotic. We're allowing the plant to build its own biotic environment. And this soil and this planter is an engine that constantly breaks down, decomposes, and is building things up at the same time. And that's the environment that you want. That is the purest environment in the world. And that's what we have at Torpedo Pot. So we know what to grow, we know how to grow it, and Torpedo Pot will get you there. I wanna thank you for your time. And uh, Daryl Addison at torpedopot.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm very concerned about how you grow, and I don't want you to feel scared about pushing your planter to the limits. As you can see, the plants we have here, uh, we have about, about, let's say, 30 to 50 plants. Uh, we have Hungarian peppers, we have jalapeno peppers, cayenne peppers, um, and all of them are being pushed to the limit. And one planter will get uh, about 125 peppers out of one planter, and it runs by itself fully automated, okay? I don't want you to think you have to go in and do watering, because when you're looking at your plant, whatever damage you see in your plant has already been done at the soil. That's why we remediate the soil and not the plant. The plant will choose its own environment and, and you can walk away from it. But these are all planted, and these are all done from seeds. We have the mint, tomatoes, all types of peppers. We have carrots, we have collard greens, we have uh, potatoes, we have uh, parsley, we have uh, garlic chives, and the tomatoes, we took one planter and put, uh, which is our uh, 20 inch planter, and we must have put about, uh, I would say about 50 tomato plants in there, uh, probably more than that. And from there, we took the tomatoes and just put them all around the property. So it will germinate your seeds and it will germinate them correctly. These planters will germinate your seeds and grow your plants. One last thing, I wanna make sure, when you fill this pot up, you have the reduced ring that you saw in the video. Put your reduced ring and make sure it's buried below the soil, okay? So the top part of this planter is gonna be extremely dry. And I wanna fill this up some more because I like it to be filled up more than just this. Let me fill up just a little bit more here. 
because I like my planter to be to the top because this is the engine, okay? And once this is, starts working, the only thing you need to worry about as this dirt gets converted over to food, as this soil, a living organism, gets converted over to a new organism, the only thing you need to worry about is keeping this thing full. Because this is the engine right here of the world in which we live in. This is the engine of horticulture. This agronomy, this soil is the science that runs everything. There's no such thing as organic. You want biotic. Get the biotic environment. So Peter Pot will get you there. Thank you for your time, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.